Hi, Madoma. I am Sarah Newberry, and um, today we're going to be talking about several different yoga postures that you can do in your practice that are going to be excellent for your posture. So, as always, if you're having any kind of pain or discomfort, um, you can click the um, the uh, ad. In the ad, there's going to be a link to that'll bring you to our introductory massage offer, and we would love to help you out in that way. Okay, so a few different yoga postures that are really going to help. The first one is going to be cow face arms. Um, I'm sure there's actually a, a much better term for this, but um, I'm going to do it from the front, from the side, and from the back. Um, this one is great because, um, for, well, you're just going to do just like this, and you're going to clasp your hands in the back, just like this, and you're just going to hold it, okay? Um, a lot of you are not going to have this kind of flexibility, but it's something to work up to. This is going to do a great job of bringing your shoulders back and stretching the muscles in your arms and in your upper back that are going to be uh, useful for good posture. So again, you can just kind of see just like this. There we go. And you can just clasp your arms and hold it for a few breaths. Okay, and you can do it on each side. The next one is gonna be plank. Now, just right off the bat, anything that you can do for your core is gonna be fantastic for your posture. So um, if, you can, if you can work out your core, the more, you're, the more you do for that, probably the better your posture is going to be. But a very simple thing that you can do is just a normal plank. And I'm just gonna demonstrate that. Your arms are gonna be out in front of you, just like this, and your body is gonna go straight back. Your head is going to be forward, not down, not up, just forward. And you're gonna hold it for as long as you can. That's really gonna strengthen all of your core muscles, and also your arms and back as well. Okay. All right, next is going to be camel. So with this one, it's going to be, you're going to sit up just like this. Sorry if I'm getting cut out here. <laughs> um, and you're gonna reach back and you're gonna grab your ankles just like this. And you're gonna look straight up. Take a few breaths. And again, what that's doing, anything that you can do to pull those shoulders back and down is really gonna help your posture long-term. Um, let's see, Cobra. So I would say, if you have lower back problems, probably don't do this one, um, but the majority of us are, are, you know, we're just fine, so I'm gonna show this one to you. <laughs> You're gonna lay flat on your tummy, and you can push up. Now you can eat, you can go up to any varying degree that you'd like. You can go up to about here. That would be great. And what you're doing is you're lengthening and strengthening your core. Your your um, you're building those muscles in your arms and in your back and stretching. And it's excellent for posture. Okay. Okay. Let's see, downward dog. Downward dog is awesome. What it does, you know, I'm, honestly, I don't exactly know how downward dog is so amazing, but I know that it infuses your body with energy. It helps you with your posture. It helps you with your alignment. Um, it does all kinds of wonderful things for your body. So um, I'm just gonna demonstrate that real quick. Okay, so a downward dog, it's kind of like a triangle, upside down. There you go. Your feet are going to be slightly apart. Excuse my hair. Your arms are going to be together. But the, the thing that you want to remember the most about that downward dog is putting your ears in between your arms. So you're just going to push back just like this. And make sure those ears are between your arms. It looks simple, but right now I'm feeling this in the back of my legs. I'm feeling this in my arms, upper back, core, everything. 
if you can if you can take a break every few hours, um, especially those that work in the office, um, and just do a few downward dogs, it is really going to help your posture and back pain for sure. Okay, let's see. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is bridge pose. Um, you're going to lay on your back. Okay. And you're basically just going to push your hips straight up to the ceiling. Okay. You're contracting your core. You're contracting your glutes. Everything like that. Okay. And you're going to breathe through it. You're going to want to hold this for at least 20, 30 seconds. I'm feeling it here, all the way through my back. I feel it in my core. It's building up those muscles for excellent posture. Okay, all right, the last one we're gonna go over is called bow pose. And so, um, you're gonna get on your tummy again. And you're gonna grab your feet. Just like this, head is gonna be up. You're pulling those shoulders back. You can rock a little bit. Okay. So obviously you're gonna to wanna to do, you're gonna to wanna to do those poses for longer stretches than what I just showed you. But I just wanted to show you just how easy it is to work on your posture. Um, if you can just do a few of these a day, um, that would be great. The more you can do, the better. So um, also just, you know, as I said before, if you're in any kind of pain or discomfort, we want to get you taken care of. So you can click the link in the ad and we'll get you connected for your introductory offer. Thank you so much.